Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that'd be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. 2011 Honda Pilot front brake pad replacement. Looking at the master cylinder. Just keep an eye on the fluid level. Don't want it to overflow. So we'll keep an eye on it. It's probably a min-max. Minimum, oh, there's a max right there. The level's on it, so we'll keep it the fluid level between minimum and maximum. Clean rag, turkey baster, some kind of proper sucking tool to make sure fluid doesn't overflow. So keep an eye on that. When you're all done, pump the brake pedal a few times. Check the fluid level, add or remove as needed to put the fluid level between the minimum and maximum. This locks back into place. Good places to jack down here. You want to center it on here, you can jack up and probably put uh, both front tires up in the air at the same time. Otherwise, have some good metal here to jack up. Use safety stands, protect yourself when you're jacking up your vehicle. Break the lug nuts loose a turn or two before you jack it up. These are uh, 22 millimeter lug nuts. Whoop. Break them loose a turn or two, then jack up the vehicle and take the lug nuts off the rest of the way. Selection of my tools. Mostly using uh, 22 millimeter for the lug nuts, uh, 19 millimeter, and 17 millimeter for the caliper bolts. If they don't just come off, you can use the impact driver, which helps turn with some force, brute force. Twist and pound and it'll come off usually. Get inside here and push between the rotor and the caliper and try and make sure your slides are free and the pistons collapse. A little motion. Slides are good. This top one has a little rubber thing at the end.
Pistons collapsed. Got our pads, put a little lubricant on the ends where they're going to touch the metal. Don't get it on the brake pad. Some new pieces. Clean up the old ones or replace them. It's a friction fit. So we're using a coated rotor, it doesn't need to be washed, but if you're using a regular rotor, it's going to have some oily film on it you're going to wash off with some warm soap and water. You want to uh, machine or replace your rotors, of course you saw we're going to replace it. You can also use a metric bolt, 8 by 1.25, maybe by 30 or 40 millimeters. Screw them in, it'll force the rotor off. Another way to do it. Put these on and they're going to be torqued to 101 foot-pounds.
torque this to 53 foot pounds. Do the same for the other side, of course. That is replacing your front brake pads and rotors on your 2011, I believe, Honda. Many makes and models for Honda. This will work for, and we'll uh, put the lug nuts on, tighten them in a crisscross pattern, tighten them up. Then you can torque those down to 94 foot pounds. Pump the brake pedal a few times as we talked about with the master cylinder and uh, top it off or take some out as needed before letting anyone drive it.